Hello people this is self tuts and we are continuing our series on docker for beginners and in this video we will learn something about virtual machines and versus container so if you are a software developer and if you are working for a company and if you have developed your personal project then you must have heard the names of virtual machines like vmware or virtual box and now using the dockers you must have heard about the containers so we'll understand the most basic difference between virtual machine and containers and then understand that why these containers are more preferable over the virtual machine we are not going to go into the details that what is virtual machines how everything works inside virtual machines and what is container and we'll not do a broad comparison between these two but we'll understand that why this is needed for us to learn the docker so if we see then we can say that both provides the isolation of your process or application from your host operating system so both means virtual machine and containers so both provides what it provides you isolation so there will be a host operating system it can be your local machine where you are running let's say windows or linux or it can be a ec2 instance where you are learn, um, uh, where you are running the amazon linux or alpine anything so there is a host operating system and then this vmware and this container they provide a isolation of your process or application from the host operating system so from logical point of view they both do the same thing that is they provide isolation for your process or application so let's say this is local machine and you can create isolated environment using the virtual machine so there are tools like virtual box or you can say vmware that helps you to do this virtualization thing the second thing is you can have your local machine and then you can install your docker environment and this environment also helps you to provide a isolation from the host machine so here in the diagram we can see that both the local machines are the host machines and for providing this isolation we can use either virtual machine or docker virtual machine replicates your operating system so what does the virtual machine do it mimics the uh, host operating system fully like if all the functionalities of the host operating system are present inside this new isolated environment that is called as virtual machine but what does the container do they provide logical packaging mechanism for application abstraction from the host operating system so it only provides you the logical packaging mechanism but all other things are being used of the host operating system and that is that is done using some abstraction technology we are not going to go into the details of that in this video now virtual machine is heavy so more cpu utilization and more ram utilization so this is the most important point which differentiate the virtual machine and the docker and why docker is more preferable over the virtual machine so virtual machine since it mimics or replicates the whole operating system functionalities so that's why it needs more cpu and more ram and that is the biggest drawback of virtual machines container uses less ram and cpu compared to the virtual machines so whenever you deploy a container um, environment either using docker or you can also use lxc that is called as linux containers so it uses less ram and less cpu so in this the current industry what we do we deploy everything to cloud and how do cloud charges they charge based on your resources and the time you use it so if you if you are using more resources so more money will be charged and you have to pay a hefty amount for the usage so that's why this is the most important point of differentiation between virtual machines and docker and where the docker wins that's why containers are winning over the virtual machine so this is the most important differentiation which i was trying to explain that docker is more preferable than virtual machine because of cpu utilization and ram utilization i am not going to go into the details of each and every differentiation because this is just a docker for beginners course we'll cover more details into our intermediate and then the advanced course so hope you like this video hope you like my channel please share these videos with other people and please subscribe to my channel thank you